Okay, this is, hi guys, this is just a quick video on linear Diophantine equations. Um, and then, well, you know, after this video, we'll probably do some examples in, um, in class. Uh, I think most likely you guys have seen these before, so um, I don't want to spend too long on it. Okay, so what is a linear Diophantine equation? It's just an equation that's like ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are fixed integers and the variables are x and y. And we want to solve the, the, this equation where for integers x and y. So we want to find all the solutions. Um, you know, as an example, maybe you want to solve 5x plus 3y equals um, 10. Okay. Of course, you can just guess some solutions like x equals 2, y equals 0, but we want to know, like, what are all, the, we want to classify the solutions. Okay, so let's see how to do that. Okay, and we have this theorem. Um, it says that if a and b are integers, not both zero, if they're both zero, the, the equation ax plus by is just like zero equals c. That's not interesting. Okay, and c is an integer, and we know we can compute the GCD of a and b, let's call that d. Let's consider our Diophantine equation. Okay, first thing, first part of the theorem says that if D does not divide C, then one has this, this equation has no solutions. Okay, and that's easy to see. Well, if we remember our, our previous propositions, because if we have a solution AX plus BY equals C, now, the GCD of A and B divides A and divides B, so it divides anything of the form AX plus BY. So if there is a solution, then D has to divide AX plus BY, so therefore D must divide C. So that tells you that um, if D does not divide C, well, then there's no solutions. Okay. On the other hand, if D does divide C, then we can find a solution, and we let, that, we let a particular solution be like X naught, Y naught. Okay. And then we can find all the solutions. All the solutions are given in this form. Um, all the, so like each possible solution is of the form x naught plus n times b over d and the value for y is y naught minus n times a over d and n go, ranges over all the integers. Okay. And we'll do some examples in class. Um, and as the last proposition, I just wanted to tell you about, um, you know, how would you compute the GCD of a bunch of integers? Um, well, like one way, you would just compute the GCD of you know, the last two integers and replace it. And then, so like, for example, how would we compute? What does this proposition say to do? It says to compute the GCD to compute the GCD of, you know, and 12, 53, and 15, what do you do? Well, first you compute the GCD, like maybe you compute the GCD of 112 and 53. And you do that by the Euclidean algorithm. So 112 is two times 53, that's 106 plus six. 
and then 53 is 8 times 6 plus 5 and then 6 equals 1 times 5 plus 1 so the GCD of 112 and 53 is just 1 so this is just the GCD of 1 with 15 which is 1 just as an example okay. um, so this video kind of completes uh, the, the kind of first introductory section of this course. Um, so thanks for watching.